Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about a PHP function called as in underscore array. The in underscore array function is used to find out if a value exists inside an array. And it is very handy when you are into some kind of programming and you receive an array of input and you want to check whether some value is there and based on that you want to do further processing. So you use in underscore array to uh, determine if the value exists. So the uh, signature of uh, the in underscore array is quite simple. So you have a function called as in underscore array, which returns either the true or false value, depending on whether the value is inside the array or not. So the value we are trying to search is called as needle. And the place we are going to search is called as the haystack. And the third parameter is an optional parameter, which you can, uh, by, by default, it has the value false, but you can turn it to true and it will do much more things than just leaving it, uh, you know, default. So how does it work? Let's have a look at the very basic part of this whole thing. And then I'll just take you to the one complicated case where you can understand the uh, in underscore array in much better terms. So if I have an array, let's say array with name of uh, with uh, which contains the name of three people, John, Bob, and Mary. And I will assign this array to a variable called as array. And this indicates that the array variable is an array of three strings. So now if I want to just check out what is the, uh, if the uh, value John is inside this array, all I need to do is echo the output of in underscore array. And I want to search for John's name. And then I have to give the name of the haystack as you can see my PHP editor is telling me like that and I would use dollar underscore array for haystack and if I run this file in the browser I should be able to see that uh, the John uh, name has been found and the value returned is true let's run it and check it out I just type the URL of the file. Okay, so the name John has been found and the value that has been returned is one, which indicates true. So if I give any other name, for example, Jason, and if I output the in underscore array again you can see the value will be zero or it will be none so basically this is how it is interpreted by the PHP browser and if you take this in a certain variable you will you can easily find out the value and use it in certain scenarios for example if dollar var equal to equal to true then do this else do something else so this is how you can use it and you can search for now let's say second value which is Bob just searching for it will also give you the value I'm sorry there's some problem with this I will just uh, remove this dollar bar and use echo so that we can see this value refresh it again and as you can see, the value Bob has been found. So this is how it works. Now there's another parameter called as Boolean strict. So the purpose of this is to determine the type of the para value of the needle in the haystack. So for example, if I have a string here and if I have some other value not which is not string but 
kind of uh, integer and if I search for a string like this it probably will not give you any result so I'll just make it string 1.1 and the his tag as array and I will mark it as true and save it and when I run it you can see nothing has been output so basically it is not recognized this 1.1 which is a float as a string so if I just replace it by 1.1 and make the uh, checking as true and run it once again you can see that it has recognized so this is the purpose of the uh, this variable this this argument and if you just leave it it will not uh, worry about the types but if you do not uh, if you make it true it will check the types now type itself is uh, another video maybe uh, I can show you one more example here in the same php.net page so you can see we did something like this where we had an array and we found the one value and when it was true it echoed the value now this is what we did in the second program we had this uh, uh, array of mixed values so we had this uh, uh, string and then another integer of float and when we tried to search for 12.4 in the as a string it was not found so this is a good very good program to understand in underscore array and the reason that you have it here the mixed parameter is because it could be either string or a boolean or a, a integer or a float and there are multiple parameters here so if you can just go to the types you can see there are a few ways of defining the parameters in the php file so i hope in underscore array was clear to you and how to use these strict parameters uh, thanks for watching